When solving polynomials of higher degree, you got to make sure the equation equals 0. Your first step will be to add 18 to both sides of the equation. Once you've done this, now you can ask yourself the crucial question. Is there a way to factor this polynomial? Well, it's a trinomial. So your best bet is the guess and check method, or what I call the magic x. To set up your magic x, you're looking for this and this multiplied together and this middle term down below. What two numbers multiply to 18 and add up to 11? Well, 9x squared and 2x squared happen to make your magic x complete. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your first term and you're going to replace this middle term with the two terms you put in your magic x. So you're going to have a positive 9x squared, a positive 2x squared, and then your positive 18. That's going to equal 0. And just like at one of the other videos I showed, since you now have four terms in the polynomial, you're going to use what I call the BAM-BAM method, or the factoring by grouping method. Pull out an x squared, because that's what they have in common. Over here they have a positive 2. And then you would say, after simplifying, an x squared plus 9. And after simplifying again, you're going to get an x squared plus 9. Now, you're doing this correct because these two terms match. x plus squared, excuse me, x squared plus 9 and x squared plus 2 are now two factors of this higher degree polynomial. From this point, as I've said before, you're going to break your answers into two parts. One where the x squared plus 9 equals 0, and one where the x squared plus 2 equals 0. Now, you can do quadratic formula. These are quadratics. You could do completing the square. Or because there's no b term, meaning there's no term with an x, you can simply just use the inverse operations, and you can get x isolated in a more shorter method. In order to get rid of that power of 2, you have to take a radical to both sides. The square root of negative 9 happens to be plus or minus 3i. There are two of your answers. Now this piece is going to give you the other two. And because it's also missing the term with the x, it's called the linear term, you can use your inverse operations to both sides. Again, you can get rid of this power of 2 by taking a radical to both sides. x equals i radical 2. However, because there's two answers, it's a plus or minus. And here are the other two answers. Four answers for a degree of 4. Plain and simple.